Welcome back guys, we are continuing this Make Williams Great Again Challenge and we are at Monaco next. So it's likely going to be decided on qualifying day, but you never know. Some strange things can happen at Monaco cars with safety cars. It's not raining, so that's good. So I'll quickly set everything up and I'll be with you on strategy day. Well, apparently all of the other teams have caught up with me in terms of car development now. Because I'm only finishing 8th and 13th now. So I knew it was going to happen, I just didn't think it was going to happen quite this soon. So it's going to be a rough race in Monaco. So, it's probably going to be a short one. So it looks like mediums and hards is the way forward. So I think I might do hards onto mediums with Jack don't think there's any point in taking extra fuel at Monaco it's not really going to be much overtaking to speak of so <laughs> really I could just fast forward this the entire race I think unless something crazy happens with a safety car. The drivers have now taken position. We're here and the streets are abuzz at the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. So I'll do a couple of onboard camera laps and then I'll just fast forward the entire race I reckon. That's a lot of overtakes and Williams are falling behind. Well, Piastri lost two positions. That's not great, but I think he gained one of them back. Doohan gained a position. And a new position just gained by Williams. Yeah, the start, the first lap is pretty much the only time that you really see overtakes at Monaco. Because of how tight the circuit is. You can get some undercut overtakes as well. But usually, if you're undercutting, you end up in a lot of traffic anyway, so you'd have to be pretty lucky to be able to get out into a nice bit of space. So yeah, I think it's just fast forward time. You would have DRS. Alpha Towery gained a place. Well, we're actually losing places. That's unbelievable. Oh, I suppose he is on hard tyres, so it does make sense.
Such a boring race Monaco is. It must be a thrill to drive, but <laughs> such a boring race to watch. Piastri actually managed to overtake Russell. And there's an overtake from Williams. Well, we may as well Let's watch it. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Nicely done. Me. There they go, moving ahead of the other driver. So he basically got the. I think it's safe to say that the job done really on the start finish straight and then finished it just afterwards on the next corner. Okay, so all of the cars in front of me have just pitted, so I'm gonna go all out and see if I can gain a bit of time on an overcut. And you'll go push, go push. Because they're all going to be pitting into traffic. So let's have a look, see where they've come out. They've actually come out all over the place. So we're going to come out around about Hamilton. So at the moment. He's 53.9, I'm 33.4. So we need to extend the time on Hamilton if we can. Well, we've just gained a second on the leader. And Hamilton's only gained 0.4 of a second. So we've gained 0.6 of a second on Hamilton. So let's hope we can continue this on. Looks like I'm actually coming up to a back marker. Wonder if I can get DRS off him. No, it didn't give me DRS, but he did get yep. out of the way. So we've gained two seconds. And Hamilton's only gained 0.6, so I think it's working. So we're on 31.3 at the moment. So let's see if we can keep reducing that. Ah, uh, Perez has pitted now, so we haven't got the the guide anymore. So let's have a look at our last lap, 114.8, Hamilton's is 115.5, so we can use that as a guide.
Okay, so we were actually one and a half seconds slower there. So we definitely need to pit on this lap. So we are boxing, boxing. So it'll be interesting to see where I come out in relation to Hamilton, see if I've managed to get the overcut on him. I think I did come in one lap too late though. So all the hard work that I did, I think I lost on that last lap. This is, line and pick him up. this is the most exciting part of the race, trying to <laughs> pick quicker than Hamilton. Two point eight is not a great stop, though. I think we've got him. Oh, we might even jump Joe as well. Oh, didn't quite manage to get Joe, but we got Hamilton. Okay, back off. Okay. So we are going to need to conserve to get this fuel back. We want to leave court, please. Copy. That was a nice overcut. So Joe has not pitted yet. So, conserving is going to be dangerous here, because obviously I'm under threat of Hamilton. But with Joe giving me the DRS, we should be okay. Be in a bit of danger going through the tunnel here. Nope, we're fine. So, on this start finish straight, I think I'm going to go balanced just to make sure doesn't overtake me because that is the main overtaking part of Monaco. Okay, I think we can go back on to conserve. Leave court increased please. Copy.
Okay, let's see if we can stay in front of him here. So we still need to conserve for one more lap, I think. Jack's just hoping for a safety car really, but it doesn't look like one's going to come. Okay, I think we are good to just go on to balance now for the rest of the race. And then fingers crossed we keep Hamilton behind. Well, Hamilton briefly and overtook me, just gained by Williams. and then Here's the replay. I overtook now we see Joe. The Williams here. Gaining a position there. Oh, they make it look so easy. Hopefully, Joe can keep Hamilton Let's away from me for a bit. I need to tell Duan to let Piastri past. Right, I might keep doing out for a little bit until Hamilton manages to overtake him because at the moment he's slowing Hamilton down. So I might even push just to... Ah, uh, he's overtaken me now. Typical. Right, well, time to come in. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. And we'll box this lap. Afford to drop back. Drop it. Yeah, deployed. Drop it. And uh, we think you can reduce lifting coast. Drop it. So, Duan's just it's got the fastest lap. lap. That's what I was hoping for. At least he can get one point. Let's hope he can hold on to it. the DRS. So I can't really push with doing. I wanted to, but he's going to run out of 
Well, I suppose I could try and push just to get on the back of Alonso. Could even try and overtake him. And then spend the last 10 laps conserving the fuel. Go on, let's go for it. See what he's got in his pocket. Low fuel, so be mindful of that. Copy. Yeah, he can't quite get the job done against Alonso, unfortunately. It's not surprising at Monaco, though. Well, a bit of a short one, obviously, because I spent most of the time fast-forwarding. Okay, and check a flag. But we managed to execute an overcut on Hamilton. So that takes us... It, it was a successful one, even though it was a short one. Yeah, we gained the position. Not too bad. Not too bad. Got a fair amount of experience. I'll take that. And that was Monaco. So join me in the next one where we'll be at Baku. Cheers for watching. Take care guys. See you soon.